In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to use Xdebug with Doxel and PHP Storm. I already have a project checked out here. This is a Drupal 8 example project for Doxel. And uh, the project is already running. I can check this by doing project thin project start. And this is the virtual host assigned to the project. So open it up here you can see that this side is up and now to start debugging this page uh, I will go into the project configuration under the .doxel folder there is a file called doxel.env if this file does not exist just go ahead and create it uh, the one here already exists and uh, has um, many of the config configuration already available, so what I'm going to do is just change the set xdebug enable to 1. Again, if you don't have this file, just create it and uh, add this line there. Once you do that, run thin project start again. This will apply the configuration. It's going to recreate the CLI container with xdebug enabled now. And while that is happening, the uh, second step that I have to do is enable the debugger listener in PHP Storm. That is this button here. When I when I click it, uh, PHP Storm starts listening to debug debugging sessions. And with the xdebug variable enabled in CLI, the debugging session in C CLI will start automatically. So the only thing that's necessary on top of that is PHP Storm listening to that debugging session. So now let's open say settings.php in our project and set a breakpoint somewhere here. Now go back to our site in the browser and reload the page. And you can see I um, get the incoming connection from Xdebug dialog from PHP Storm. So PHP Storm automatically detected the uh, server name based it's based on my virtual host configured for, for the project. The path to the file on the server, which is var www.docrootindex.php, and the matching file path on my uh, local computer, which is where my project resides, uh, Drupal 8, docroot, index.php. I accept that, and you can see my debugging session just started, and I'm able to debug everything as uh, I want it. Now, in certain cases, the dialog that you saw won't show up. Um, if that happens, what you can do is go into Preferences under Languages and Frameworks, PHP Servers, configure it manually. So you can see this is what was configured automatically, the server name and the mappings. It did the mapping automatically for the doc root folder to var www doc root. If you don't see it here, just add it manually. Uh, one thing that you can do uh, to improve the automatically configured mappings, instead of this default one, or in addition to that, you can add a more global one and map the project root on your host to var www on the server. This will allow you to debug scripts that are outside of the doc root. Let's say if you want to debug uh, console scripts and not just web requests. Click OK, and you should be good to go.